Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I welcome all of you in this lovely session from Gatewala. Myself, Ankit Sharma, and guys, today I'm over here to highlight the critical issues about the test series. We give the test series, right? But sometimes we don't write the fruits from the test series, which should be taken away from the test series. Sometimes we don't take the test series seriously. Or whenever, whenever we are attempting the test series, we are in a casual state of mind. So these things hamper my actual result in the examination. So why test series is important? Let's discuss that in this session. How we should take the maximum benefit out of test series, that is also very important. So let's start the session and discuss things in detail. It will be a short session, right? Not very, very long session. So I'll be keeping it short, very point to point. So let's discuss. So basically, whenever I'm attempting the test series, I should first of all, have this frame of mind that I am sitting in real time examination, right? If I talk about with respect to the gate examination, then my approach of giving the test series is little bit different. In the real time of the examination, the time allocated to me is three hours. But when I will be attempting the test series, I will be writing the test series in 2 hour 45 minutes initially and later I will be reducing this to 2 hour 30 minutes as I approach close to the examination. Right. So, you need to build the pressure. You need to stimulate the condition. See, exact exam stressful condition cannot be simulated. So, we need to inculcate things like basically we are sitting in the examination and we need to increase the pressure on us right and how we can do that by some uh, changing the condition so that basically things becomes unfavorable for us and if we make things tough for us we can increase the stress level and this will help us to tolerate or to deal with the stress level in the real time situation of the exam. Now, I have attempted the test series. After attempting the test series, I should give at least one hour or two hour time on analyzing the test series. Right? On analyzing the test series. Okay, good, good, good. The man with silence. That's good. Now, when I am analyzing the test series, what should be the focus area? See, when I have attempted the test series, definitely I would make some mistake in that test. And what could be these mistakes? These could be silly mistakes, like reading the question in the improper way, reading the units of the question in the improper way. Sometimes the unit given for the data in the question is different and the unit asked for the answer is different. Neglecting that and going with the flow. Sometimes written in the question is not correct. But we don't read that. Neglecting the question whether it is MSQ or MCQ. Sometimes the silly mistakes are done by us. Thereafter, sometimes conceptual mistakes are done. Sometimes calculation mistakes are done. Right? Even though the calculator is allowed in gate examination. So, if you are doing calculation mistake in gate examination, that is sin. That should not be the case because you have the calculator available in the examination. So, these are the things. Right? So, we need to identify 
these things. Man with silence, I'll talk about this at the end of the session because uh, this is apart from the topic which I'm discussing currently. So after 10, 15 minutes, I'll deal with this, right? So don't worry, brother. So all these mistakes are need to be analyzed. Why? Attempting the test series or after attempting the test series, why I have made the mistakes, what has gone wrong and take a note of it. Take a note of it. Prepare a notebook for the mistake and understand this, I will not repeat this mistake in the future test. Slowly, slowly, gradually, with the time, you will see improvement in your preparation. And this improvement will be reflected on the day of the examination. And that will give you good result. Because with this improvement, at least you can increase 10 to 15 marks. Because every aspirant makes this mistake at the initial level. Understood, guys? So, committing mistake is not a problem. But repeating mistake is a problem. We should not repeat the mistakes. Right. I will take all your question at the end of the session, guys. Just 10 minutes more. Hardly 10 minutes more. Right. Now, as I told, we should simulate the examination condition. Right. We should simulate the examination condition. See, whenever I am attempting the test series, I should attempt the test series in the same time of the examination. See, in GATE, there are certain papers which have two papers like civil paper, computer science paper. These are the two branches which, in which the examination is taken in two shifts. That could be either 9.30 to 12.30 or it could be 2.30 or 2.5.30. Same as with the other branches, you can get in... Uh, 9.30 or 2.30, right? So, we should write the test series in the same time frame un until we get our admit card in our hand. And when we have the admit card, we should stick to that particular time which is written in my admit card because I am training my brain to be sharp, to be active in that particular time frame. There is a biological clock in our body. Like if somebody is sleeping at 10 p.m. in the night or 11 p.m. in the night, right? So that person sleeps. And somebody who is habituated to sleep at 2 a.m. in the night, that person, if he lies down on the bed, he doesn't get sleep easily. He finds it difficult because there is a biological clock of our body. We need to adjust it according to the situation. So, I am training my body, I am training my mind according to the situation, guys. Right? So, this is another thing. Thereafter, as I told you few minutes back, committing mistake is not an issue. But repeating mistake is an issue. So, sometimes we do silly conceptual mistake, silly calculation mistake, Silly mistake in interpreting the data in the question. So, these have to be avoided. And how can we avoid this? By practice. By reading the question carefully. By understanding the question carefully. By interfering the question carefully. Right? As I told you, not correct, incorrect type. Thereafter, sometimes we read the question, but we don't get the question, the inference of the question appropriately. In that case, I'll tell you one thing. From my small teaching experience of 15 years, I'll tell you one thing. Always the answer of the question lies in the question. Always. Answer of the question in 90% cases is in the question. 
but we don't get it. The reason is why I'm not reading the question properly. I'm not in love with the question properly. If you fall in love with the question properly, you question starts talking to you. And when question starts talking to you, it becomes very simple, absolutely simple. So this should be the approach first. Next, we should make a habit that every day, half an hour, one hour, I should revise the formulas before going to the sleep. And when I am appearing for the test series, 10-15 minutes before the test series, I should revise the formula again. Right? Make it a ritual. It should be a ritual. For that, you should prepare a formula notebook. It is very, very helpful. Because the number of revision you give to, uh, you give to these formulas, then these formulas becomes, it solidifies in your brain. And on the day of the examination, reproducing that particular formula becomes very easy for us. Right. Next, time management. Sometimes, when we are giving the test series or in real time examination situation, we observe that on a particular question, we have wasted a lot of time. And the reason behind the wastage of the time is pretty simple. That is ego. I have read this subject. This is my favorite subject. This is my strength subject. How can I leave this question? I'll solve this question. And that question was a trap for you. That trap was set up by examiner. And you fell in that trap. You wasted lot of time. After solving that question, you have realized that you have wasted 10 minutes, 15 minutes for that particular question. And then, mind game starts playing with you. Your, main, your mind starts playing with you. Yeah, you have wasted lot of time in this particular question. You have to give, you have to solve other questions also. What we have done, what we have done, your confidence shatters. And clearing exam is the matter of confidence only on that particular day. So if your confidence breaks into pieces, if that shatters, it becomes problematic. Got the logic? So have a time management. At first, You should solve easy question. Leave the tough question and the lengthy question for the later on. Initially, 40-50 minutes, solve the easy question. When the easy questions are solved, definitely you will solve them correctly. 30-40 marks are with you. Thereafter, solve medium tough questions. Right. In another 50-60 minutes. So, you have gained another 20-25 marks. And your total becomes 60-70 marks approximately. Later, when the time permits, I will go with the lengthy question. Now, I am not under the pressure of the rest of the paper. Because the paper which was easy for me, which was doable for me, I have solved that. So that is very easy. Now I can give time to these questions. Then go for the tough or lengthy questions. Right guys? One information I need to share with you that guys, we have just celebrated the Engineers Ka Mahotsav. So under this, we have some offers for you on our gate and ESC batches. So if you want, please 
take the benefit of this right now giving the mock test is important and analyzing the mock test is also very important as told to you initially also right prepare a mistake notebook and you can learn from it thereafter random guessing at the end i would rather tell you don't do this ever don't do this ever because these this leads to negative marking right this leads to negative marking if you need to guess then try to guess with some logic use elimination technique if you can eliminate one or two options then two uh, one or uh, two or three options are left out you should guess but have a calculative guess it should not be a random guess or abrupt guess right thereafter maths and aptitude plays a very important role in your gate selection 30 marks approximately 30 marks in your examination it has the weightage it has the la highest weightage among all any of your core subject or technical subject so guys don't dare to ignore these two subjects right overloading with too many test that's also a problem excess of anything is bad have one or two test series in week you should attempt one or two mock tests that is good enough not more than this and guys whenever you are performing you should track your progress even though we are moving slow but we should be moving so track your progress it should not be on the declining side rather it should be on the inclining side guys now you can ask me your questions i am done with my session uh, if i start preparing now for cs will be able to get good marks yes but uh, it is very subjective what is good marks what is your goal that is very subjective you can start preparing at least you have 4.5 months 5 months it is appropriate time if you give 100% dedication you can do sir i have completed five subjects and mainly focusing on pyq and also preparing for esc fine man with silence try to prepare other subjects also because five subjects are never ever good enough right try to increase your horizon also that will help you out so guys that's all from my side if you have any question you can post it in the comment section myself and team will definitely reply to your question as soon as possible thank you guys that's all from this side bye bye jai